Thank you. Hello, graduating seniors. I sit here now and see three things. Three things that no one can take from us, that no one can deny us. Three things that set us apart from the other classes that are graduating this year. But first, let's talk about the background, the origins, the beginning. In Sina, where it all began and is ending for so many of us. The long night spent cramming for the next test by Ms. Schaller, the loud roar erupting from Mr. Lucchini's room for me at another fun and interesting game, and yes, even what seemed like hours listening to Miss Nichols' constant speech about the importance of merging. All of these things were meant to prepare and inspire, to uplift and invigorate. All these things were done to make us better people than we were. It is symbolic, of course, that those who taught us now pass the torch on to us, their students. It's funny because when we were freshmen, I doubt that any of them would trust us around an open flame. Still, maturity slowly set in. For some, the old ways seemed less fun, and the prospect of a future beyond the horizon slowly became more obtainable. This is because of our teachers, who sacrificed so much to see, our, to see us pass. But if you ask them, they would say it was not nearly enough. They deserve more than we can offer, but I suppose our success is the best tribute we can muster. But now, on to the three things I see when I look at this class. First, I see promise. The promise of a better tomorrow. The promise that every person in here will leave this place and move on to bigger and better things. It is this future that I look forward to. I see the generations of the past as stepping stones, supported by the knowledge of the stone underneath them. And eventually, we will become those stones, packed on top of the last generation, overflowing with knowledge for those willing to seek it out like we have. We have gathered here to witness the birth of the next level of stone layers, building the mansion of life, leaving the instructions for those who are to come and finish building it. My dream is that we leave more knowledge for the, future, for the future generations as the prior ones have left for us. This leads me to the next thing I see, potential. The potential of every man and woman in here to do something productive. It is this potential that will push us past our predecessors and into a whole new level of life. Our teachers were given a toolbox half full. They were complete with the knowledge they had to bestow upon us, but failed to reach some in the way they had hoped. It is our duty to complete our own tool set so that the next generation can have all the resources available to them to complete this mansion. We are destined for great things because we have the potential to do anything. Some of us are off to college while others are off to the military. But regardless of where you go after school, you will excel in it because you have the experience to tackle any challenge. Finally, the last thing I see is persistence and perseverance, the very foundation that led you to this great world being built. It was through perseverance that America was able to triumph over the British and win its independence. It was through perseverance that African Americans were able to gain the civil liberties that were unjustly denied to them, and it will be through perseverance that we will conquer the future and create the dream we have for ourselves. With perseverance, we cannot be swayed, disoriented, dismayed, or destroyed because we will weather any storm that the demons of life can throw at us. We will succeed because we are the future, and we are now. This is what I see. This is what I have witnessed over the past four years. Though I may not be the most popular, the smartest, the cutest, or the smartest, I have grown and I have watched you all grow to be like a family to me. A family I have depended on to make it this far and a family I will continue to depend on to make the future, to make this future brighter than any other. I can't do it alone and neither can you, contrary to popular belief. We all have the promise, potential, and perseverance to change the world. The question is, will you seize the opportunities in front of you or will you squander the gift that you've been given? The choice is yours, but make it fast because the future isn't coming. It's here.